Hi guys, welcome back to Wendy Teaches Spanish. Some of you are wondering like, oh my gosh, Wendy, you cut your hair, girl. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. I didn't cut it. I have extensions, actually. And my hair is growing. Okay, guys, I feel really, really cool. Okay. Mm -mm. My hair is growing. And, um, yeah. So, okay. So, today we're going to do something fun. Okay, I'm going to do something fun because I know not all of you guys know so much Spanish, you know? So, today I'm going to be teaching you just a couple words, you know, just the basics just to get you through the day. Not really. It's just funny, but, mm. Are you ready? First of all, we're gonna go ahead. See, I got my booklet, honey. I can't ready today, okay? I am ready, ready. Okay, so, so first of all, we're gonna start with orange, okay? Got things for you here. Two things, actually. Orange could be a fruit or it could be a color. Let me explain. Orange in Spanish is naranja. If you're talking about a fruit, if you're talking about a color, you say color anaranjado. Say it with me, anaranjado. You can't roll your R's, honey. Say it with me one more time, anaranjado. Anaranjado. Yes, you got it. Okay. Next, envelope. Envelope. Yeah, can I get an envelope? You know, I'm trying to say a little, whatever. Okay. In Spanish, you say sobre. And nails. This is a funny one because you know, in the English, you do not use the um. What's this? La Enya, do no usa esto, you don't use it, okay? So let me tell you how you say nails in um in Spanish. You say uñas. See, I'll show my nails, but I didn't do my pedicure. <laughs> I mean manicure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh uñas. Okay, say so, ñe. You use a ñe. Okay, uh, here's another one. Cactus. Nopal. Shoes. Zapatos. Toothbrush, cepillo de dientes. Okay, we got another one here. Broom, escoba. Mop, trapeador. It's a, it's a crazy word, you know what I mean? Because mama dice, hey, I got a trapeador, trapea aquí, hija, que tu sabe. You know, and it's like a mop is just like a three letter word, and, and in Spanish, it's like a seven. You know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, espera, espera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine letters. Nine letters to say map in español. Trapeador. O mapeador. Porque no, no, yo no creo que es mapeador. Yo, I feel, I feel like it's trapeador. Okay, that's what we say in my house, you know? Um, how do you say boyfriend, girlfriend in Spanish? Okay, well, I'll have a little funny story here. My mother me dice, hija, que tú no tienes novio, porque que no viste, or whatever, you know, um, but yeah, novio means boyfriend and novia means girlfriend. This is, this is the end of the video. I'm a little thirsty here. <gasps> okay, perfect. This is a Sprite, you know? This is, mira, we got, we got. <laughs> you call this Sprite, you know, because it's like a Sprite. But in Spanish, you call it a Sprite. You get a Sprite with limon, así, tú sabes? Okay, perfect. I just let me know what you want to learn in Spanish. Just typical words, you know what I mean? Um, like, hola, como estas? Me llamo Wendy. Or um, difficult ones, you know? You want to learn, I am here to help you. This has just been so fun and so exciting. I'm excited for um, for the other videos that I'm going to teach you, you know what I mean? Stay tuned. I love you, boo-boos. And uh, I'll see you like in a month or two. I'm just kidding. I'll see you soon.